girls and they're excellent. So we have nine students that we call baby starfish and they're inspirational beyond measure and we would like to present them with scholarship certificates right now. Before I get them up there, somebody asked what the meaning of lantern is. As I understand it, and I could very well be mistaken, but as I understand it, lantern is a Balanta word. Balanta is one of the tribes in the Gambia. And it means joy, happiness, and freedom. And we think that the library can and will bring joy, happiness, and freedom because we know reading means freedom. When you can read, you can travel outside the Gambia by sitting right here in the library and reading about how far you can go. So we hope it gives the girls independence, freedom, and that it's not a painful experience, but a joyful experience. Um, the first award goes to Yasin Mane. Ami Kamara. <laughs> Safiya Tijalo. <laughs> Ramatulai So. <laughs> Maimuna So. Zena Diaba. Yake Sa. And Haji Jal. I left Maimuna Bojan for last because I was going to tell you a little more about her, but you've already seen her take the initiative and dance as soon as the music started. <laughs> she has appointed herself the mother of the baby starfish, so she's their leader. As you can tell, I'm a teacher and I like talking. Um, I could stand here and tell you about the girls and tell you more about the program, but then it wouldn't stay true to what I said, which was we wanted to empower the girls to speak for themselves. So for the rest of the program, I present to you the Starfish Girls and they'll run the whole show. Thank you for coming and welcome. Thank you very much, Mam Yasin Sar. changes that this program brought to me. First, I now see myself as somebody very special. By then, I do compare myself with my other friends. I may think that like they are more special than me. But now I know that each of us is special, irrespective of background, anything. So I see myself as somebody very special. And also, I've become more courteous, especially, um, especially when I'm dealing with my teachers. Because by then, if a teacher tells me something that I don't want to do, I may not say it in a way that he, will, he or she will like. But now I can express myself to them without being rude to them. So that was really a positive change. And uh, I've also learned that uh, rendering service to people is very, very important. So I've changed my thinking by you know, helping people more. By then, I do help people, but not to that extent. Because at times, I will see that somebody needs help, but I may feel lazy. But now I've seen the importance of rendering service to people, and that also has helped me. Those are my some of the positive changes that this program has. My top three goals: the first, the first one is to become a gynecologist. Before the program, I wanted to become a medical doctor, but when I went through the program, I, reali I realized that I wanted to become something greater. Because of the way I felt during the program, I knew how special I was, so I wanted something greater. And I chose to become a gynecologist. 
And my second goal is to build a skill center for the disabled, so that they can, so that they can, um, so that they can also contribute to the development of the nation. Because, especially because in the Gambia, most disabled believe that they have no part to play in the development of the country. So if you build a skill center for them, each of them you have, if you like, if one of your hands is amputated. It has been amputated. There is something that you can do. So if I build a skill center, each of them will see what they can do in that skill center, and that will help to develop the nation. That is my. And my third goal is to build a very wonderful family. To build a wonderful family for my husband, my children, and for everybody. I just want to have a wonderful family. My favorite part of the program was when Red joined us and taught us those wonderful songs like listening. I think you are wonderful. And my favorite among them is listening, even though I, I was not in that group. So that was really my favorite part, because it made me to be happy throughout the day. When I go, I'll be singing it. You know, my parents will be wondering, what is wrong with me? Am I going crazy? But I was really happy. That was the favorite part. I must say I'm very happy and privileged to be asked to say a few words on the occasion of the scholarship award ceremony almost towards the end of our six weeks program here in St. Peter's with the Starfish International Family. I must say I'm the happiest of all the principals in this country around this time. Because at school, one of our major problems as school heads and school leaders is to get parents pay fees for their children. So if I have a big group of students whom I'm sure next year I don't have to say, go home. That is my biggest problem, to ask a student to go home because they have not paid their fees. But sometimes you have to do that because we need the money to run the school. So this next year, Half of my job would have been done as far as girls are concerned in St. Peter's. So I am a very happy principal. And I'm very happy that uh, the Starfish International family 
Manyasin and her friends have chosen St. Peter's. 